Are you looking to create a pattern to print out of your RIP software? Whether you're looking to print an entire roll of fabric with one pattern, or you're creating small sample pattern squares, the step and repeat function is the perfect tool to create the pattern you're looking for. In this video, Bob's gonna take us through how to set up a step and repeat pattern in both Onyx Thrive and SAI Flexi. So today we're gonna go in Onyx and then in SAI Flexi and show you how to perform a step and repeat function. Here we are in the Onyx Thrive RIP queue and I'm gonna go and right click on the file that we want to touch upon. And here we're gonna actually do step and repeat. Uh, so as we open this in Thrive Job Editor, our default tab is the Printer and Media tab. We make sure that we have the right media set up here, and then we move over to our patterns area. This is where you control step and repeat. Now, the page size is uh, based on the roll size loaded on the printer. So in this case, it's defaulting to 42 inches. When we go ahead and enable step and repeat, right now, it's gonna default to the output size of 42 inches. Now we can change that to 24 inches or 40 inches. And what you'll notice is the width of our image is adapting accordingly. You can also adapt it down here by saying how many panels across you want. So for the count, we could simply say that we want four panels across. It'll automatically count that that's 29.24 inches. So these two work together, the count and the width. So if I wanna go back to 40 inches, I'm just gonna type 40 inches right there. And again, it's gonna change the count size. The other important things to note here is that you have um, flip alternating repeats. So you can flip horizontally or you can flip vertically. So if you have a pattern that doesn't repeat and you want it to flow a little better, you can actually go ahead and flip every other panel so that they flow better together. Kind of mirror. Um, below this, we can go and talk about um, pattern offsets. offsets. So we have brick and horizontal offset as the default you can also go to a drop and vertical offset. And then you can change it as to how you actually want it to appear, whether you want a third, a quarter, none, or some sort of custom offset display. We're gonna go back to none. <clears throat> the other thing is that if you're creating a gap between the panels of images, you can go ahead and change that gap color so it becomes easier to identify within your file. So you can change it to white or to a custom color uh, in case you wanna do that. So once we're done here, we're ready to go print. So all we gotta do is jump over to our print area and hit submit and print the file. Next up, we're gonna talk about SAI Flexi. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this and out of Thrive altogether. And we're gonna go to SAI Flexi Production Manager. Here, we can either double click on that file name or we can go to Job Properties. This is laid out completely different but very similar in function to, um, to Onyx. Here we have a tab over here called Step and Repeat. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And again, we need to enable step and repeat. And once again, we can use the media size or we can specify the width. And then we can also tell it how many rows we want to repeat. Direction of the drop, you can do horizontal, you can do vertical. And again, we have this mirror horizontally, mirror vertically. Uh, so that again allows you to take patterns that 
maybe specific images not meant to be tiled, and you can mirror them to make them look more consistent across the uh, frame. Once you've done this, you're ready to go ahead and submit. So here we just simply click OK, and the file is ready to be sent over to the printer. Thanks, Bob. I hope this tutorial will be helpful when setting up your step and repeat patterns in Onyx Thrive and SAI Flexi. As always, if you found this content useful, please give us a like. If there are other software deep dives you'd like to see, let us know in the comments. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe to the IT Supplies YouTube channel to see when new videos are posted. Thanks.